Hello, this is Burton's Art Studio coming to you from YouTube. As many of you know, last week I bought some acrylic paint and I had no idea what to paint on my first acrylic painting. So I had a YouTube contest and after a little bit of thought, I chose a winner. And the winner? A tree. With branches that were like hams holding onto eyeballs. The idea was brilliant and definitely expressed my darker side of painting. The project was somewhat challenging, but at the same time, it was within a league that I was used to, which was perfect considering that I'm working with a new medium. Although I was going for a dark piece, I did get a high request for my vibrant backgrounds that I used for my flower paintings, and I was a bit nervous to combine the two considering that they were two completely opposite themes. However, because I'm always up for a challenge, I figured I'd give it a try. So without further delay, prepare to embrace yourself in the darkness and light as you observe the painting come to life that I prefer to call The Watchman. Roll the tape!
dun 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 So, I have mixed emotions about a crux. First of all, they are very fun to work with, and I will admit it was quite convenient having it dry within an hour or even less. The whole process of making the painting was definitely fun, and because it dried fast, I could actually think up of stuff at the moment, which was definitely nice and gave me stuff to work with. With all the positives, there are a few negatives, which I was expecting with a cheaper paint substance. First of all, the colors just aren't as bright as with oils, which, again, I was prepared for when I started. Another negative that I had, which I think had more to do with the fact that I bought cheap acrylics, was that these acrylics were very watered down, which could at times make them actually difficult for me to work with. This made the paint spread on very thin, and in a second piece that I did, I found that although it didn't take days for it to dry, I found myself putting more hours into the actual work aspect of it. This made it a little bit irritating, and I will say when I was done with both pieces, I kind of missed oils. As you can see in my second piece, there were some positives. For one thing, I was able to give the background a marble tone, which is very difficult, if not impossible, to do with oils, at least in the way that I did it. Once they dried, I put on the flowers, and that's where the acrylics started to go downhill again. Again, some of this could be the fact that the acrylics were watered down, and this made it very difficult to cover, but <laughs> I found myself putting up to ten coats on each petal for the flower before they actually covered. The end result, I will say the flowers look a little bit cheapier than the oils, and I don't know. I just wasn't as impressed as I could have been. There again, they were fun to work with, but there were some frustrating parts, and the end result... they were okay. On a scale from 1 to 10, I give acrylic paint a 5. I was going to give them a 4, but I will say that this marble tone on the back of my painting really saved them, and for that reason, I'm willing to give them a second chance. Next time I will be buying a more expensive acrylic set because I just feel that this type of acrylic just doesn't cut it for my style. So that's that. Overall, I'd have to say that this was a very fun project and I will be using acrylics in the future, especially if I want to make cheaper pieces for people with a lower budget to buy. And also if I just want to have fun or need to make something by a certain amount of time. To all my subscribers out there, thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for participating in my contest. Until next time, this is Burton's Art Studio, signing off. Bye!